by far the worst part of any of these backcountry trips is the prep and the chores that come with getting ready for the trip. As you can see, I, I have <laughs> Mount Everest of empties to clear out of the garage. I have a snowblower. I got a sled. I got a ton of crap I gotta get out before I can actually get my boat trailer out that, uh, that we need to obviously get the boat <laughs> to the lake with us. We're super excited about this trip. This is our second year in a row trying to do this. Obviously last year we had some run-ins with, uh, you know, closures and, and crap like that because of COVID. But this year we've regrouped, we've got a new plan together and we've identified a, a back lake that's pretty remote, but from what I understand has a healthy, healthy population of brook trout. I'm gonna be joined with my uh, with my buddy Austin. Some of you guys might remember Austin from my one of my winter camping videos from this past winter. Oh baby, that's a lake. I remember. Austin's a fisherman at heart and just a, a good guy to have around. So um, yeah, I'm waiting for Austin to come up right now, and we got a little bit of we got a little work to do yet before we can take off. So I'm gonna get to that, but I'll catch you guys bright and breezy tomorrow morning. Morning. Definitely, uh, definitely a little bit more brisk than you would hope on May 1st. I think it's minus two feels like minus six Celsius, that is. But all is good. We, uh, we are on schedule. A little bit later than we were hoping, but still before six right now. The sun's just come up. And yeah, we, we're just finishing up putting the last few batteries and stuff that we had inside last night to keep warm in the trunk we got about an hour i'm gonna guess maybe two hours to get to our final destination we got about an hour and 15 to get to um basically where the the roads end then the rest is on uh old old logging roads and basically the sketchy roads that we're not too sure about but austin's just getting up now got a fresh cup of coffee and we should be on our way Our first roadblock. Oh shit. Is it movable or do we need to saw it? I'll get the saw. Yeah. Here we go. I think I'll have to uh, saw this side too. Think we can move it or should I saw it? Clear as day. Here we go. <laughs> That, that's the turn. Yeah. That's the turn. You make her? Yep. <laughs> Holy f Me, that's f***ing built perfect. Jackknifed a little bit there, but... 
This is it. This is the final stretch for sure. I see water. Oh yeah. I don't know if I want to go down there. I wouldn't. Is that a boat? Yep. Should we just call it and put it in park? Yeah. And go let's check out this boat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. And there's a boat. Wow. I didn't expect this at all. Solar light. Wow, this is unbelievable. Here we go. We got a sign. Whoever shows up are exactly the right people to show up. When it begins at exactly the right time, whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. When it's over, it's over. Right on. Not really exactly sure what that means. <laughs> but this is it. This is uh this is Lake X. Obviously it's not our own Lake X. We have uh people obviously uh you come here quite often, but we were planning on camping on an island out there, but I mean this is a pretty solid site right here. A little explore around the lake and yeah, we'll see. We know that we have a, a pretty good site if we just want to stay here though. weekend begin enough of the shenanigans business time baby blue time baby blue time <laughs> worse than it was then the next part that we were kind of dreading was we didn't know how we were gonna get the boat <laughs> into the water so basically we would have had to tow or hand drag that 14 foot fiberglass boat like 50 meters down roots and rocks which would have been just a brute and to get it out would have been probably way much worse and there just happens to be a, a tinner stored here so we're just gonna borrow that person's boat, bring uh, bring the 9.9 .9 and the Minkota down and have at her. Away we go. And not to mention, there's like a pretty decent campsite here. Obviously the downside of that is it shows that there is some activity at this lake, which is to be expected. It's, people obviously know there's, there's fish and brook trout in this lake, but that's not to say the fishing's not gonna be great. So it just makes our lives a little bit easier. I guess the plan is we're gonna wait until the sun kind of melts. Uh, our campsite's just dusted right now in snow, so hopefully the afternoon sun takes care of that. But in the meantime, we're gonna get this boat flipped over and um, we're gonna get the trolling motor on. We opted to leave the the two-stroke 9.9 .9 just in, in the boat. You know, it's it's a it's really loud and we're trying to be as stealth as we can. So a little 35-pound thrust Mankota should do the trick. We got. Uh, our nice 12 volt battery and a solar powered ch charger so we should be good to go for the hopefully hopefully the whole uh next couple of days hopefully that transom actually holds up Shit. oh <laughs> <laughs> that might have looked a little romantic on the camera. <laughs> a little bit tighter than the, the 14 foot, but this will this will do. And they were calling for rain this weekend. Are you kidding me? Oh, f oh. F Coming into our first little sand bay here. Some good structure. This isn't the spot that I think we're gonna find the fish, but 
I mean, you can see right through it. It looks like a mud bottom, so I mean. I can't believe how clear this water is. Same I'm with this. Not stable, so I'm doing the one new method. Okay, I think that's a good call for you. King of doggy paddle. <laughs> oh. I just heard a splash, dude. Big honor. We're just doing a kind of a survey, surveying the land here. We're just doing a quick troll around the, probably around the whole lake. It's not that big of a lake. Basically, we're trying to see if we can pick up some fish trolling and, uh, you know, take notes of where we catch those fish and come back and cast those spots um, later. So it's beautiful out here, though. Like this is this is probably the most one of the most secluded lakes I've ever been on, and. And so far it's been pretty cool. Seeing that otter up close was uh, was a good way to start the trip. There you go. fishing attempt uh, came up empty but we got a good uh, idea of where we think we can target brook trout next time we go out it's uh it's pretty freaking windy right now so we were getting our asses kicked out there we came back no rain <laughs> we didn't get rain it starts snowing <laughs> we're literally just waiting for the wind to die so we can get back out in the water and it's been i don't know probably three or four hours since we've been out and it's it's non-stop it looked like it was gonna clear up for a minute and then it got dark again and and then snow so it's uh it's not ideal but at least the fire is warm <laughs> you all right well we had a little bit of a tough break there on the fishing no luck a uh, couple close calls we had a couple misses um, but I mean nonetheless Austin called it a scout mission if anything so we know where to start tomorrow a little bit deeper we'll see if maybe if the weather's a little warmer if the fish will move up shallow but we were marking fish on the sonar between 15 and 25 feet and uh, the downside is the surf and turf is missing half of uh, half of it so it's just gonna be just gonna be the turf but nonetheless, we're gonna have some good steaks, and I don't think you can really beat steaks cooked on open fire. So, potatoes already on. A couple minutes, let the grate or the grill heat up, and should be good. Look, those things are juicy. Good night, big boys. Oh my god. Oh, dude. 
dude, those are serious. Oh my god. Looks so good. Oh. Like my man. <laughs> five star, five star dining in the woods. Well, let's get these taters on the table and get them in. Steaming, oh, beaming. Beautiful. Oh, that smell. That's a freaking meal. Not a bad meal for the bush. Piece of meat. Not Caveman bad. style? Caveman style. Oh, I freaking lost my knife. It's a lot, it's a lot, a lot better of a day, a lot better out there right now than it was pretty much most of yesterday. <laughs> nice and calm, it's, it's not too bad, it, it could be warmer, but it's all right. I made a trip back to the, to the car, I found hip waders. My issue yesterday was my feet got, the, well, the issue is the boat, this boat that's here leaks like a, leaks like a son of a bitch, and my feet got so wet off the, off the bat that... Uh, I kind of never got over it and stayed chilled pretty much until I cuddled up in my uh, sleeping bag. So hip waiter should uh, be a bit of a game changer. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat some uh, granola bars and get out in the water and see if we can can find some brook trout. No bears. No bear. Got one of these sons of bitches. Is that enough? You got a teaspoon? There you go. These are gonna get hot. I don't think we can stress enough how much we need the luck of the Irish, so. some color yeah. and plus that's the only way to make this coffee taste <laughs> half decent <laughs> Get the in there, bod. <laughs> working on it we're just gonna hopefully do it today the black fury something a little different and slightly downsized I like that it's got the feathered tail too so okay let's roll Where? Right oh, there. yeah. That was a fish I saw. It. Yep. I heard it. I see it. It wasn't big, but it was a fish. Well, the surface bust probably after bugs. Well, we just got back from getting our, our asses handed to us again. Not really, not really sure what we're doing wrong. We've tried pretty much everything that we could at this point, other than fly fishing. But we've noticed today there's a ton of bugs on the water and and just flying around that weren't there yesterday. So maybe there's been a new hatch, and it kind of makes me wonder if maybe the brook trout are kind of dialed in right now on different insects that might be on the bottom or in the mud. So maybe they're more focused on eating out of the dirt or close to the bottom than they are in the middle of the column or close to the top. But 
we'll see. Maybe if the day warms on, uh, that their activity will change. But we did for sure see one fish. We saw one fish um, eat eat off the surface, so that was a good sign. If it wasn't healthy enough to start, <laughs> smoke face. That's the result. Grilled bread, bacon grease, bacon, hot sauce, brunch. You know what? Not bad. It's pretty freaking good. I can feel my arteries clogging by the second. That's good. <laughs> That's pretty good. This side. This is it, buddy. One last shot. We're uh, we're we're willing to be punished one more time by these fish, but I don't know. I got a got a better feeling this time. The sun's out. The wind's kind of shifted a bit. And yeah, there's nothing but blue skies out there. So hopefully the water warms up enough that these fish are moving into the shallow bays and we can catch them on our spoons. But we'll see what happens. Well, we, we officially accepted the L. <laughs> tough way to, uh, tough, tough to swallow, but you know what? We pretty much tried everything we, that we, that we could have and really tried a lot of different tactics and different depths, different lures, like everything that I could think of, we basically threw at this lake. Austin said earlier, we threw the, everything but the kitchen sink, so. Everything but the dew worms. Yeah, yeah, well, so our, our new buddy Wyatt, who uh, he launched his boat here earlier, and he kind of gave us a report on the lake. We went by him and his and his mom about maybe 30 minutes ago, and they were parked right on shore, and, and we watched them catch four or five fish in 15 minutes, and they were sight casting them. <laughs> like, I was, I couldn't believe it, and like some nice, some nice brookies, some... <laughs> two three pounders we were just sitting there in awe as we were skunked for the whole weekend so you know sometimes it's the most basic basics like the basic of the most basic everyone starts fishing with dewworms so I, I know awesome saying earlier he's never gonna go out <laughs> in a boat again with a little pack of dewworms but you know what tough that we didn't catch any but I mean that's besides the point it was a fantastic weekend we found a, a great lake great camp spot and fishing's just one aspect of it i mean we had a great time out here anyway so and that's the way she goes you know hopefully next time uh the fish cooperate with us we've we've definitely learned and we know what we'll do differently next time and yeah until then we'll catch you guys there One last thing, if you're gonna camp on crowd land, don't take advantage of it. You know, I always believe the campsite should look better than it, you know, than it was before. I always believe the campsite should look better after you use it than it was before. So, you know, I'm not saying don't have a good time or, you know, whatever you wanna do, just clean up after yourself and 
don't be like these guys.